Imperator Darius with yet more Battle of Alola matches. Well, let's get into it again. I mean, I've got so... I recorded like... I think I recorded a third of my matches. But let's get on with this first one. This one is going to be from Trainer Vlacor. And, and, yep, you recognize it, folks. It's Nebby, once again leading the team. So, so I'm going to start this off with, you get it, you guessed it, Trick Room. So, the Celestino is going to start off with the Leech Seed, Nebby's going to go with the Trick Room. And if you recall in a previous video, I said I hate the Celestila and the Leech Seed strategy. Because they're going to go for the Protect. And I'm just, I'm going to waste my turn doing absolutely nothing. So for two turns, Nebby did absolutely nothing. Nebby, you're kind of letting us down. You're letting us down, Nebby. Gotta, gotta pull your weight a little bit more, man. Gotta pull your weight. So my opponent pulls out the Celestila and sends in an Electivire. So I'm thinking, okay, what's going to... Well, that happens. Electivire has got the motor drive and it's going to get a speed boost thanks to Nebby going for the Thunderbolt. And it's going to get some more health with the Leech Seed. So, alrighty, I'm in a bit of a jam here. So, what do I do? When all else fails, Moon Gaze Beam. Nebby goes for the Moon Gaze Beam. And BAM! So, all in all, pretty successful hit there. I tank up that little, uh, tank up that, uh, Volt Switch pretty easily. And out comes Mimikyu. So, this is already not looking too good for me. Nebby is starting to lose a lot of health. And so far, all I've done is waste precious health from Nebby. Now with the Mimikyu, it has nothing to stop it because I just lost Nebby here, thanks to a Shadow Snake. And unfortunately, there goes the uh, Trick Room, so now my opponent is faster than me. So we're going to go, go off again with the, uh, what's up next? We're going to come out with the Celestila. Celestila is going to come out, and I go for the Rock Team, thinking, okay, i got to try to slow this, slow this guy down somehow. So Brian is going to go for the Rock Tomb, I slow him down slightly, and what do you know, they go for the bloody Sleech Seed. Alrighty, this is not really looking good. So I go for another Rock Tomb, hoping to slow it down even more, and they get more HP with the Leech Seed. So, Alrighty, this, this is definitely not looking like a good match for me. So I go out, I pull out... Pull out Brianna and send in Lizzie. Lizzie goes out next. So, Celestia goes for the Protect, doesn't do anything. Lizzie's now on the field, and thanks to my faster speed, I, go, I get off the Flamethrower. Unfortunately, not fast enough, or not enough HP to bring it down. So, Flamethrower didn't do it. This isn't looking good for me. So Celestila gets some health back thanks to the uh, Leech Seed. I pull out Lizzie because I don't want to go, go through another routine of slip, protect, and miss. And because what do you know? What's up next? Protect. So Celestila goes for yet another Leech Seed. I'm still not faster than this thing with Brianna. My Brianna is a brave nature, so I'm really slow. I go for the I go for the Rock Tomb again to finish finish off Celestila. I maybe have the Leech Seed still on me, but at least I'm- at least the real threat of the Celesteela is down. Now out comes the Mimikyu. So Mimikyu's gonna go for the Play Rough. It's not gonna do a lot of damage, and it's gonna trigger my, uh, stamina. But I'm going to go for a Heavy Slam. Because that's one of the few moves on this that can- that can actually hurt this Mimikyu. And Disguise goes down. And unfortunately, but unfortunately, I'm still slower than this Mimikyu. So I'm not really going to last long, especially if it has Wood Hammer, which I believe it does. I think it goes for it. No, it goes for the Play Rough again. I don't know why this person didn't run a Wood Hammer for, Mimik for his Mimikyu. But either way, I get the Heavy Slam off. 
and down goes the Mimikyu. So rest in peace Mimikyu there. And I swear that I'm getting some serious FPS loss on this on this thing. So in any case, out comes the Electivire. It goes for the Earthquake. I'm thinking, please let me have enough defenses to hold out. And what do you know? I have just enough to hold out against this Electivire. So I go for the high horsepower. And down goes the Electivire. And that's the end of that match. Oh my goodness. Brianna definitely clutches it there for me. Way to go, Brianna. So that's one match down. Onward to our next one. Against my opponent. Pokemon trainer. Someone from Japan, I think. So, you know the routine by now, people. Nebby goes first. Nebby is definitely stealing the show for... Def Nebby has definitely stolen the spotlight for this tournament. So my opponent goes for the Swords Dance. You already know the routine. And if you can see the turn counter at the bottom, you know what, what's gonna happen. Out comes the Moon Gaze Beam. Dead Mimikyu. So rest in peace Mimikyu. Now out comes Talonflame, and this buff re and this nerf to uh, Talonflame's Gale Wings ability really hurt the Pokemon badly. Without the constant priority that it used to have on all of its flying type moves, it cannot outspeed my Nebby, especially in the Trick Room now. It's a really fast Pokemon. It doesn't have a lot of defenses. It's really offensively based. But without the, but without the priority from its from its flying type moves, it doesn't have the stamina to take on Nebby. So that's the second one down, and now we got the Metagross. And what do you know? I'm faster than the Metagross. So out comes Nebby with the Moon Gaze Beam. Nebby, you are stealing the show. Stop stealing the show, Nebby. I swear, I see why Lily kept you in the bag now. So here comes my next, my next match. This one against a Silvali. And I swear, this guy caught me off guard at some point, I believe. So once again, leading with Nebby. And my opponent leads with his Greninja. So I already know Ash Greninja coming out. So I go for a Trick Room again. Nebby tanks up, tanks up that Night Slash, and gets the Trick Room off. So now that I'm faster than this Greninja, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt here. Take down this Greninja, get it down, get it out of the way before it has a chance to go for uh for any moves to knock me out or get its Ash Greninja phase out. So now we got Tapu Koko. And yeah, pretty much I've already outsped this thing thanks to Trick Room. So I'm gonna go for my Moon Gaze Beam. It's the strongest move I have and Tapu Koko is not the strongest uh, special defensive tank. So out comes the Moon Gaze Beam. Tapu Koko tanks it pretty well. And fun thing about Electro Ball. It doesn't matter if you're faster than your opponent if you're in Trick Room. So Nebby's gonna go for the Moon Gaze Beam again. Bam! So I am super, I'm getting super a lot of use out of this. And now out comes the Silvalli. So it's a normal Silvalli, which means Moon Gaze Beam isn't going to work very well, so I go for my second strongest attack, Psyshock. And unfortunately, it's not enough to take down the Silvalli, and I lose Nebby. Oh, oh, wait, I almost lose Nebby, but the crit the crit definitely mattered right there. Unfortunately, no, with no Trick Room now, I can't survive a second one, so I lose Nebby with this, with this next Exodon. So that's the end of that one. Now I've got, got Baron here to... Try and deal with this Sylvalley. So with 
With Baron now in school form, I'm thinking, what do I do here? What do I do? Well, let's see what I find out when it comes to the multi-attack. So, I take this pretty well, so I go for the Aqua Wings. Aqua Wings set up to help Nebby survive some more, get some health back. Because one of the biggest problems with Wishy Washy is that without it, without his school form, he is nothing. He is nothing without the school form. So I need to keep his health as as high as you, ha, high as I can. And I used to have a berry on him, but I go for the skull here, hoping for the burn. I don't get. Oh wait, I do get the burn. And since this is the since I narrowly missed the KO on the skull, it's gonna be up to the burn to finish the job. So net. So, Nebby couldn't finish off the Silvali, but Baron comes in and finishes the job. So, well done, team. Well done. And I think we got enough time for one more match. And and this one is no Nebby. So, yay! Nebby can't hog the spotlight this time. Instead, we got Fairmosa leading against my opponent. So, my opponent's going to go for the Mimikyu. I, I really wish I had brought Nebby against this thing now. But... I send out my Pheromosa. She doesn't have Focus Sash. I wish I wish I could have brought Focus Sash. Otherwise, I I just don't have anything to, sur to survive. She, yeah, she is the definition of a glass cannon. She doesn't have defenses, but she can hit like a freaking truck. So I pop the disguise with my lunge attack. I decrease the amount of attack this Mimikyu does, but even with that attack drop, it's she's just too too frail to survive against Mimikyu. So out comes Salazzle, my Lizzie. Or my Lizzie, my Salazzle. There, that, that's a bit of a mistake. I send in the flamethrower, hoping to take this thing down. And that, that tank, it, I, it tanks it pretty well. Unfortunately, it's gonna start smacking me with a shadow claw. But that, but that, but that uh, loss of the uh, loss of the freaking yeah attack really helped me out. And damn it, this thing knows knows trick room as well. So. This isn't working, going well for me. So it goes for the, my opponent goes for another Shadow Claw. Lizzie take, takes it pretty well as well. And out comes another Flamethrower. So that's the end of the Mimikyu. But th damn, this thing took me down really hard. So now I got a facing off against an Araquanid. Araquanid, there we go. So I lose. So I send out, so I take Lizzie back and send in the slowest Pokemon I got on my team, uh, Juliet Mylorantis. And what do you know, this thing was going to go for the knockoff blow on Salazzle. So Juliet, she's got to do some real work for me to help me take this Awakonid down. Unfortunately, it's bug type as well, and it's got lunge, and out goes, down goes my poor Juliet loses needed special attack. But I knew it was over. There was nothing I could do, so I forfeited. And I really wish I didn't have to end the video on a forfeit, but you know what? I think I'd maybe have one one more for one more perhaps. So let's go on to our next one. Let's let's not end this video on a forfeit loss. You know, if anything, let's end this on a loss that I can be proud of. And not to say that I wasn't proud of that loss, I fought like a beast in that match. But in any case, my opponent brings out an Ultra Beast Nihiligo. This is my first time taking on the Nihiligo. And, well, I remembered one thing about this Pokemon, and that is, it's super fast. And what do you know? Nebby's gonna set up the Trick Room. <laughs> so, Trick Room established. And if I recall correctly, this thing has bad defenses, so I send out the Psy Shot. Not only was that, but it was also Poison, so... Down goes the Nihiligo. So that's the Nihiligo down. Now out comes the Ash Greninja. So I'm faster. I have Thunderbolt. You know the routine by now. Nebby goes for the Thunderbolt. And the Greninja goes down. Rest in peace, Greninja. And now out comes the the Battle of the Nebbies. Or at least New Lunala versus my Nebby. So my Nebby is faster. So I go for the Moon Gaze Beam. See if, see if I can take it down and almost miss the one hit KO. And my opponent, he's gonna sit there and calm his mind. Well, 
You know how this routine song and dance goes. Once again, Moongate Beam finish off the opponents Lunala. Victory to Team Impy. So yeah, well done, Nebby. Well done, Nebby. And that's all I have for you today, today, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for more Battle of Alola matches, and stay tuned for that why I used this Pokemon nature. Bye bye. That why I used.